Across the Irish Sea, a rainy, grey day didn't stop thousands of people in Belfast from protesting the upcoming G8 summit. They marched through the city amid a heavy police presence. World leaders, including Stephen Harper, will be in Northern Ireland early next week. But today, the Prime Minister made a stop in Dublin. Senior political correspondent Terry Malewski is there. Well, Prime Minister Harper is now halfway through his European tour. He's done London and Paris. This weekend, he is in Ireland on his way to the G8 summit next week, Monday and Tuesday, uh, in Northern Ireland. Now, uh, Mr. Harper is not in Dublin just because it's on the way, but because Ireland, of course, like France, is an important beef producer in Europe. And both countries are digging in their heels uh, over Canada's demands for much greater duty-free access for Canadian beef exports into the European Union. That, of course, all being part of the protracted and still fruitless negotiations uh, for a free trade agreement between Europe and Canada, which Mr. Harper describes as being of monumental importance. But it's not happening. And yesterday in Paris, the French President Francois Hollande agreed with Harper that there should be no deadline for a deal. Now, the other major issue which is likely to dominate the G8 summit, of course, is Syria. Now that the U.S has agreed to supply small arms to the rebels. There's really no consensus on what, if anything, to do next. No fly zone, for example. And Russia's uh, President Putin is obviously an obstacle to any consensus uh, taking shape. Yesterday, again in Paris, uh, President Hollande spoke up for what he called military pressure on Syria. Uh, Mr. Harper, though, was much more cautious, uh, merely expressing concern. For the moment, though, Harper's agenda is focused on Ireland. He has a visit uh, to the Guinness Brewery, although, of course, Harper is not known as a big drinker at all. And tomorrow he meets with the Irish Prime Minister, Enda Kenny. Terry Malewski, CBC News, Dublin.